Ever wondered how antennas spit radio waves into the vast expanse of space? Well, it all comes down to their radiation patterns. So buckle up, as we delve into the fascinating world of antenna radiation patterns. First things first, what is a radiation pattern? Think of it as a map that visually represents the strength and direction of the radio waves emanating from an antenna. It's usually plotted on a polar or rectangular graph, showing how the antenna radiates as a function of space. Now there are various types of radiation patterns, there's the isotropic radiation pattern, a theoretical concept where radiation is equal in all directions. Then we have the directional pattern, like those seen in Yagi and parabolic antennas, focusing radiation in a particular direction. And let's not forget the omnidirectional pattern, common in dipole antennas, that spreads radiation evenly on a single plane. Let's talk about lobes. These are the areas where the antenna radiates. The main lobe is the star of the show, representing the direction of the strongest radiation. Side lobes and back lobes, while not as powerful, are still important parts of the pattern. Then we have beam width. This describes the breadth of the main lobe, usually calculated between points where the signal strength drops to half its maximum value. We can't ignore polarization, the orientation of the electromagnetic wave's electric field. This can be linear, circular, or elliptical depending on the antenna. And of course gain. A high gain antenna boosts energy in a specific direction, effectively increasing the power transmitted in that direction. It's a key factor when analyzing radiation patterns. Understanding these patterns is crucial for effective communication in fields like satellite communication, wireless networks and broadcasting. But remember, in the real world, environmental factors like buildings, terrain and obstacles can alter the ideal radiation pattern of an antenna. So it's important to consider these factors when designing and installing antennas for optimal performance. For example, tall buildings can block or reflect radio waves, causing signal interference and reducing the coverage area. To overcome this, engineers often use techniques like antenna tilting, beam forming, or installing multiple antennas to improve signal strength and coverage. By carefully analyzing the environment and understanding how it affects the antenna's radiation pattern, engineers can design more effective wireless communication systems. So next time you're using your smartphone or connecting to a Wi-Fi network, remember the behind-the-scenes work that goes into ensuring a strong and reliable signal. And that's a wrap. So, to summarize, radiation patterns give us a visual representation of how antennas emit radio waves into space. They take into account factors like the type of pattern, lobes, beam width, polarization, gain, and real-world deviations. These patterns are crucial in understanding how effective our antennas are in transmitting signals. It's a testament to the sophistication and precision of modern communication. So the next time you make a call, stream a video, or use GPS, remember the intricate dance of radio waves that makes it all possible.